Hi YouTube, it's me, Danny, and tonight I have airport standby. It's about 1am in the morning and I'm just about to get ready, do my makeup and get dressed, unpack my bags, so stick around and I'll show you my getting ready for work routine for airport standby. any makeup the first thing I do is moisturize my face the aircraft air is very dry so I always like to moisturize my face and I also apply Vaseline I'm sure everyone's used this before and I always put this on my lips uh, I use quite a bit because I just find the aircraft air, it really dries out my skin and my lips. So I try to moisturize as best I can before a flight. Obviously I have airport standby today, so I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to fly. But while I get ready, I'll tell you a little bit about airport standby. Just a heads up, I'm not a makeup artist and I'm not someone who even really enjoys wearing makeup i don't wear makeup very often so when i get ready for work i do my makeup how i basically would do my makeup any day my makeup look is a more natural look for you guys that don't know airport standby is basically i mean it's what it sounds i go to the airport and i'm on standby so my shift is four hours and within those four hours, so the four hours I'm doing is 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. Between those hours, they can just pull me for a flight. So I'm just basically waiting in a lounge and any minute my phone can ring and I can be called to do a flight. So I have to be ready to operate. <laughs> I used to work in Qatar Airways and I was there for about two years um, and I've been with Emirates now two years and the only time I've ever done airport standby was once when I was working in Qatar Airways and I did get pulled for a flight. My standby was from 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. in the morning and I was very arrogant when I went for my duty. Um, I didn't think they were gonna give me a flight. So I didn't sleep before, um, before I went for my standby. And it was about three hours into my standby and they called me. And guess where I went? To Cape Town, South Africa, which is almost a 10 hour flight. So, oh my gosh, I was not prepared for that one. You know, I was like, no, I'm not mentally prepared. <laughs> I hadn't slept. The flight departed, I think at 2 a.m. in the morning, something like this. And I, I had to be ready to operate. Like you can get anything. I swear, this is the best mascara. I have been using this since I was young and I still use it. Like I said, I'm not a makeup expert. I'm not one of these girls that spends a lot of money and time on makeup, um, but I think my makeup looks okay. <laughs> I like it. And I think makeup, in my opinion, it's about what makes you feel beautiful. Why do we always make such funny faces when we apply mascara? You always have your mouth open. So that's my makeup done. So as you can see, I don't overdo the makeup. I like it to look more natural. So now I'm going to do my hair. I have quite long hair, so I normally will tie it up in a bun. Um, you can only wear your hair out if it's above the shoulders. But for me, like I've never wanted to have my hair that short. I love having long hair. So I just tie it up into a bun. And another 
one thing I'm not amazing at is doing my hair. <laughs> um, but I do know how to do a bun. And quite quickly as well. Because I've done one that many times. So I just twist it as you can see. And I roll it into a bun. And then I get another hair tie. Sometimes I do use the donut, so we can use that as well for those of you that don't know what a donut is. It's this one. Sometimes I do use that, but lately I've just been doing a natural bun because I do find that my hair pulls in the donut um, and I'm quite conscious about losing hair. We need a hairnet as well, so you can't go for a flight without a hairnet. And then it's optional, but I always do. I like to put the red scrunchie in. Also need to wear earrings. And we can use a pearl or gold stud. So I have been using this since I was in Qatar. Um, they were present from some girls in Melbourne when I left Melbourne. So I always wear my pills. And then we also need a watch. I always make sure I have my watch and my earrings. I can never forget them, part of the uniform. One thing I have to do for airport standby is pack my suitcase. And this is really difficult when I don't know if I'll be doing a flight and if I am doing a flight, where I'll be going. So I've just had to pack random items, some summer clothes, winter clothes. I've packed a lot of... Uh, travel adapters like all different plugs because i don't know um, where i'll be going packed my yoga mat in case i can't leave the room and i want to do a workout i'm ready to go to work now i'm in my uniform i feel okay it's about 2 a.m in the morning and i did manage to sleep about two hours just before I woke up to get ready. So I'm hoping that's enough fuel to get me through the night. I hate these night flights. I really struggle to sleep usually before I have a night duty. But unfortunately, that's one of the things that comes with the job. Some people love night flights, but for me, I'm a morning person. So I really enjoy doing day flights. I prefer waking up really early in the morning. My duty starts at three, so I'm just gonna go downstairs now to catch the bus. And yeah, I'll let you guys know if I get a flight or if I'm back at around seven. <laughs> back and it's daytime oh my goodness i okay this is what 12 hours or more of work looks like <laughs> um this is the reality of being a flight attendant sometimes so i left home at around 2 a.m last night to get to my airport standby and i've finally reached home and it's about 3 p.m the same day but in the afternoon i ended up getting pulled out pulled out of airport standby around 5 30 a.m and i had to operate a flight to pakistan to karachi which departed at 8 a.m in the morning and then i landed back into dubai it was delayed, so I think we landed back at 1.32 p.m. So by the time I got home, it's 3 p.m. So it's been a really long day. I have slept two hours in the past 30 something hours. <laughs> so I'm so exhausted, but because it's so late in the day, I don't think I wanna take a nap. I think I'm just gonna stay awake for the next few hours and go to sleep really early because I'm so exhausted. Um, but I don't want to mess up my sleeping pattern. Sometimes this job is not so glamorous. That's one thing that I love about the job. It's every day it's different. Some days it's good, some days it's bad, but you know, I had a really nice crew and the flight was busy, but it wasn't so bad. So I'm home now. I'm gonna have a very relaxing afternoon 
and go to sleep very early. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I wanna do some more cabin crew insider vlogs for you. So if you have anything that you're curious about, let me know and I'll try film a vlog. I also wanna do a Q and A. So if you have any questions that you would like answered, then make sure you write them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them when I film this vlog. And I'll see you in the next one.